What's up guys, Fred Warner here. Just finished up week five against the Arizona Cardinals. Welcome to the rear view. Going into the game, you know, just obviously didn't start off the right way. We let, we let Kyler get out early, get that long touchdown. We're down 7-3. All right, how are we going to respond? What's what's that next drive going to look like? Boom, we go out. I think it was three and out. You know, we had our mind right. And I think we let up, what, 10 points uh, by halftime. And feeling good. Went into halftime. Hey, what's the what's the message at halftime? Let's go out. Let's dominate the second half. Let's, let's be better than we were. And um, regardless of what's happening in the game, offense, special team, defense, like, my mindset as our as a defense is we got to win the game on defense like and that's not taken away from any other part of our team but like man come on like what's what's the mindset you know and like how are we going to finish games and i'm uh, mad about it of course just like everybody else but at the same time who you can't sit and sulk and and defeat and and, and, and be miserable like it's on to the next you know what i'm saying like you talk about how big of a challenge we have on a quick turnaround Thursday night football game against Seattle, who's had a pretty dang good start to the season. I mean, obviously they wish they didn't drop the last two, but I mean, come on, like they had as good a start as anybody in the NFL and they understand how important a divisional game is first place in the division. It's a long, like a long season ahead of like, you know, standings and all that other stuff, but like, I mean, come on, like, this is this is it. This is everything. Um, and how are you going to respond in the times where people are telling you how horrible you are? Um, you're no good. What are you, you going to do? Uh, you know, the thing that always makes me feel feel good inside is knowing that I'm I'm going to be on that field being able to dictate a large part of what happens you know, at the end result of the game. Players, we have the the power to win and lose games. So, I mean, that gives you obviously the, the most amount of responsibility uh, every single time you step out there. And I feel I feel like that's I, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly how I want it to be. You know, put it all put it all on me, put it all on us, and see what happens. From the beginning of the game, in the stretches. See my man Tom Brady, and I always got to speak to how much respect and admiration I have for the, one of the guys who's obviously the guy who is the greatest of all time. Um, you know, I'm not big enough to be like, oh, Tom Brady, yeah, what's up, bro? Like, like no, I'm starstruck every single time I see I see him. But you know, it's it's love and respect. Um, the fact that he even knows who I am is a big deal to me, you know, so I'm happy for him, his success in the booth now. Wish him the best. It's Tom Brady the GOAT. Special teams touchdown was a huge critical point in the game. You know, I know my boy Ike was real close to getting it, but I'm pretty sure it was Jordan Elliott that got his paw up and knocked that thing down. Demo Happy birthday, Demo, on, on the on the day. Obviously, we didn't give him the dub for his birthday, but man, the man got his first touchdown in the NFL on his birthday, scoops it up, takes it all the way to the other end, man. Super happy for everybody who was involved in that play. It was a crucial moment that we needed it. Um, those guys came up big time making that play for us. Biggest key learnings from the game. You gotta finish. First, first second, third quarters are great. You, you play great in, the, in all three quarters. A, that's amazing. You give yourself a great chance to win the game. But the fourth quarter is where games are won and lost. You know, how focused, how dialed in can you be for a full, for a full four quarters? And I know it's all cliche talk and everybody, oh, well, all right, yeah, we heard this before. Hey, that's just what it is at the end of the day. Deal with it. A key performance of the game, Brandon Ayuk coming out, having his best game. And it sucks that it doesn't get to, you know, 
be talked about enough because obviously you're not going to be talked about in a loss. But um, amazing game by him. Yeah, man. Shout out Mitch Wisnowski, our punter, having to come in, man. Unfortunately, our kicker goes down, Jake Moody, and Mitch has to come in and make a field goal for us right through the uprights. Mitch, we don't take you for granted, mate. Defensively, Nick Bosa, interception, second career interception, almost identical to the one he had in 2019 against the Carolina Panthers. I was watching it and it felt like slow motion. I mean, because of how he's running and because of the moment. But I'm sprinting, trying to get him a block, and he decides to cut back. Boom. I mean, the guy is just unbelievable. So happy that he's on my team. And of course, we're gonna need him big time Thursday night to help right the ship. So Nick, get us another interception Thursday night and maybe five sacks, that would help. Um, but yeah, of course, the team morale, hey, it is what it is. You know, it's fresh on my mind, so of course, my tone might not be the best, but I guarantee you, uh, my mind will be all the way right by Thursday. And that's all that matters. Wipe it. On to the next. You can't take it back. You can only go forward and make it right. So that's what I intend on helping us do. One thing I do want to say is I love playing in Seattle because of the hostile environment that it is. I think it's a top five place to play. How loud it gets in there. Everybody talks about how loud um, it gets in Seattle. And especially in a primetime game, man, division, division game with a lot, with a lot at stake, uh, I think it's going to be jumping. And so those are the moments that you that you prepare for to to really go out and and really be in the moment in, in games like this. And I know for myself, Thursday night games, I'm always coming home after a, a preparation day when it's a regular week, coming home, looking forward to watching who who's playing on Thursday night and watching that game, being a fan of the game. So I'm, I'm sure plenty of guys will be tuning in around the league to see, all right, what, what's the Niners, what's the, what's the Seattle Seahawks talking about, you know, and and tuning in. So we got to be on our P's and Q's, man, a lot of eyes. And I always say one game can change your life. You just make that one special play, you change everything. What's what's the keys to helping stop this, this offense for us? I mean, they got outstanding running backs, you know, uh, of course, Geno Smith, one of the, one of the best in the game. Uh, receivers, great receivers, DK Jackson, uh, top uh, Lockett. You know, they they got some guys. They got some guys, and I'm sure they're they're wanting to take the top ball. They're gonna want to run it. They're going they're going to do everything. So we got to be ready for everything on a short week, short preparation. How are we gonna respond? That's how I look at it. Hey, well, we're going we gonna to see what, what the Niners are made of on Thursday night. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I want to see us battle through adversity the right way and come out on the other side with exactly what we've been looking for every single week. And that's a dub, of course. Everything's right there for us. Everything that we want is right there. What you gonna do about it? That's 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 my that's my mindset right now. What what are we gonna do about it? Perfect opportunity to go and and I mean and another another thing people talk about uh, is it good that you know you get to play quicker on a short week, get the bad taste out your mouth? And I feel like it's yes and no. I feel like yes, you for sure want to get the taste out your mouth, and then no also because obviously you want to correct the things that made us lose the game in the first the, the game the game prior in the first place so that you're prepared and ready to not do that again the next game but hey this is what it is so we got to make the most of it and both teams are on short weeks it's not like one team got a long week and one team got the, we both got the short week we both coming off of losses so we're gonna stand up that's how i look at it I'm excited. I'm fired up. 
that's a wrap on rear view make sure to tune in for season two of the warner house as well youtube spotify apple Podcasts, wherever you listen and watch your podcasts you'll find it there and continue to follow along on rear view for all your favorite athletes trying to break the game down through a win or through a loss we're here for you peace out